Hey guys, it's Crackers. Welcome back to House Flipper. We are back in the retro house and we're trying to give ourselves a black slate in this bedroom that we're going to do. Um, yeah, I just wanted to paint it white just because that's just what I do. It's what I do and... Did we get all the... I think I did the windows in here before, so... Um, yeah, I've been trying to think about, uh, what to do in here and I think we're going to kind of base it, like we're going to sort of decorate it for like a, a young girl. I'm not sure how old we can decide after, but I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, we're almost there. And I want to try to use this pop on chair because I think it would be kind of cool. I want to try and use probably like, uh, did I get all that? Yeah, I did. Um, I think I'm going to use like pink and maybe green or blue, maybe even a mustard yellow. we got to do this bathroom too. We could probably start with some installations. Uh, we could probably put a bathtub here. It's going to be small. Yeah, I think we'll just kind of keep it. Hopefully a bathtub will fit in here. I guess we could do a shower too. What did we do in here? We did... Oh, right. We just have... Um, hmm. We don't have anything. They're going to be sharing this bathtub or this bath. So, yeah, we can't fit everything in here. So... Hmm. Yeah, let's do a bathtub. Okay, good. It will fit in here. So we'll just center it. Now, you know what? There's actually, I just thought of this. Um, there's kind of shower heads or something. Oh, good. They have like a category of bathroom fixtures. Yeah. Now, could we add like just a shower in with this? Okay, so black chrome. We're going to end up with kind of that grayish looking modern in chrome, modern in chrome. Oh, I see. It's just a slightly different style. So we can have black or this color. Uh, let's just see. So how does this work? Oh, so we still need the shower installation. Hang on a second here. There's no way we could do both, could we? I doubt it. I doubt they would let us, but I have to try. I just think it would be neat to have sort of the shower thing set up plus the bathtub. Give me a sec here. I don't really get this. Does this attach to the wall? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think we got to sell that. I don't like, do you need to have that to hang on a second here? How does this work? Oh, I see. So you can attach it to the wall. Okay, let's get rid of that for a second. I just want to try something here. Yeah, no, that shower's in the way. Darn it. I thought maybe we could trick it. And there's nowhere I can slip this in, hey, even if I move it over. I think we're just a tiny bit short actually, but I guess, I guess not. I thought maybe we could have the best of both worlds. Uh, I just wanted to place the bathtub first. Yeah, if there's nothing that we can do to fit this in here, I don't think, unless maybe it'll go in after the fact, but I doubt it. But I think we'll just kind of go with basic stuff. So let me get this in and then uh, I'll be back. All right, well, the bathtub's in. I mean, we could have a shower off to the side. I don't know. I don't know if we could. Could we? We can have it. Well, we. I guess we want it over the tub. I don't know. I mean, why not? And then they can have the best of both worlds. Wish I could kind of close it in a bit, but this window is sort of in the way. And uh, I don't think there's really much else I can do. I guess I suppose I could put it over here. But... No, it doesn't really get us anything. I think I'll just leave it over there. We could maybe get away with that. Yeah, let's do that. 
All right, and then we just need a sink and a toilet. So let me put those installations in. I I think we'll kind of go, we'll try and do something a little bit funky. Well, not funky, but um, we're definitely going to do some more, like some bolder colors. Um, there was a couple of different, different prints I would like to try and use in here. I'm trying to think of, because I have this thought, I was thinking about this room and what I wanted to do. I thought it might be kind of neat to have sort of like a corner bed with a ledge. So I think I'm going to find those half walls and kind of line a corner, a corner with them. And then we'll find a bed to kind of like, it'll be kind of like a giant day bed is, I don't know. That's just what I have in my head. So, I mean, I guess in this corner. Yeah, actually, these are pretty even. So maybe if we take it right to the end of the windows, then it'll be pretty symmetrical. I don't know. Yeah. Let me grab those half walls. I'll put those in and I'm going to finish putting installations in here. Um, yeah, I think we'll just have a tiny little sink and little toilet over here probably just a real basic looking kind of setup so I'll be back guys all right I have this stuff installed this is driving me crazy that this is brass but the knobs are silver and everything else is silver so I may or may not be able to live with that but we have some stuff in here anyway we could probably go with a bigger cabinet it would but I kind of liked the style of that I just don't remember ever really using it much so um but yeah, I kind of want to go like, um, I thought maybe we could use some of those uh, sliders from the workshop and kind of go like a little bit of a crazy color. But I want to see what we're going to do in here too. So I have been thinking about this room. Um, I'm just I'm not exactly sure what I want to do, but I was trying to find a bed that doesn't have a headboard. So let me find those half walls and we're going to start with that okay so here are those things um yeah i think we decided we're going to do this because there's we can make like a little shelf out of this is what i'm thinking i don't know or it would be sort of like a bit of a headboard to an otherwise headboardless bed that i'm hoping that we can find um, I think it'll be, I don't know. We'll, we'll just play around. We're going to definitely go bolder in this room. Um, and then maybe we'll, we can even play with those slips. So yeah, we'll go right to the corner, I think. So we'll have a little ledge and we will take this so that it matches. We'll, yeah, it goes one pass. Maybe. Maybe we'll do something like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let me find those sliders. Yeah, they're called, oh, okay, they're not called sliders. They're called slider. All right, um, okay, so we'll look at that. They have dark wall ones now. Wow, these are gonna be fun to play with. Um. Okay, I kind of like this emerald green. I'm trying to think of what, okay, so a full wall. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Hang on a second here. Okay, first of all, let's go into the bedroom. Let's go into the bedroom stuff and let's find, uh, let's look at all the beds. Because I want something that doesn't have a headboard. So I kind of glanced in here and I, I just did a quick little look. The only thing I could find I thought was the Valentine's bed, but I want to see. So that's not even here. Oh yeah, it is. This one. It's the only one that doesn't really have a headboard, but I wanted to look a little closer because I want it to be sort of, I don't know. I don't know. I wish they had a big square one, but maybe we could make this work. How much room does this, uh, take up I don't like that it has a big gap in there does this even fit in here oh wow what I'm not sure what's going on here 
We could do it that way. Um, okay, okay. So what am I going to do in the wall for the walls in here? Uh, I think this is the only one that we could maybe do a feature wall of. And then I thought maybe we could just play with some bold colors using those sliders. Maybe kind of doing a striped pattern. Just something fun. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, how would this look? Okay, so let's go back to the sliders. Um, color would I want to use? Okay, so I kind of like this emerald green. I'm trying to just think of retro colors. I don't want to do that. Uh... This might be a little too bright. Pale blue wouldn't be bad either. Let's let's just start with that emerald one, I think. Okay, so we would want a full wall to start with. This might take a bit of time to set up. Let's just start in this corner. Oh, that's so awesome that you can s slide them in behind here. Okay. All right, um, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, geez. Just trying to think, okay, cause we're gonna have, okay, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Okay, renovations. Now I found this piece and I don't know why it looks like this, but it's what I wanna use. It's just a white, it's just a white thing. Why is it in the square though? That's kind of a bit of a pain, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure how that's supposed to fit. But we can use that as sort of a cap on here. Except for it's going to be a little bit wonky. Is there anything else? What's that called? A topper. Is there any more called a topper? Topper. Half. That's the only one. Okay. Uh, I thought there was a cap or something too, though. A uh, half wall capping block. Log capping block. Half wall capping block. That's the same size, though. Is that the same one? I think it is. No, actually, that one's different. Except for it just doesn't... Why isn't it the same width as a wall? Okay. That's kind of annoying. Um... And this is a full length. I just want to see. I just want to see. Because I think it'll... If, it would be better if it came... Yeah, see, it's going to come short. So there's if this was smaller pieces, that might work. But the, that's not going to work. Oh, no. Did my walls come out? Jeez, why does that happen? Uh, don't tell me that happened all the way down. Oh, well, whatever. I'll fix it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's just super annoying. I'm going to have to start this all over again. Um. Okay, I'm going to have to move the bed, and I'm going to have to... Yeah, because it's going to be all messed up. But I think we'll just maybe use that white... We'll just try and make that white one work white ceiling tile so it's just going to go on the ceiling mm. I mean there's that shelf too but love shelf oh that's the okay yeah the shelf doesn't really work because it doesn't sit on it so we're going to have to use that cap but I'm going to have to pull all those out and redo it but what I'm thinking of doing here is just playing around with, um, so is this three? No, that's two. I thought we could kind of do a striped pattern with maybe a bunch of those different kind of sliders. Um, I'm not sure what color, because like, we could put a slider half wall thing against this and change the color of even this ledge. Which might be kind of cool. Okay, mm. hang on a second here. I just want to show you guys what I had in mind for pictures. There was a couple that kind of jumped out at me. And I don't know which ones. 
we can make work in here. Like there's actually quite a few, but uh, there was two in particular. So let me grab those. Well, this one's kind of cute. That is pretty cute, but that doesn't have any of that pop sun color in it. There was another one here. I just got to find it. Oh, we can maybe make this work too. You know what? We're just going to buy a few. We're going to just see. I'm just going to buy small sizes of them. Okay. Just so we can remember which ones we're, we're thinking of. Okay. This was one of them. The black and white. We could use that as like sort of a feature wall, I think. And I just... Oh, this one. I kind of like this one. I liked the colors in it. So I thought maybe with one of those, we could do like a feature wall on this wall and then sort of just do fun little stripes on the rest of it. I don't know. I don't know what to do really. <laughs> um, so I'm looking. Okay. So we got some paint. See, this one has that color in it. Uh, this one does too. There's a little bit of it in there. So I really want to use this somewhere, but we could find a place to use it. I don't know if there's anywhere in the bathroom. Hmm. Okay. All right. So back to these sliders. You know what? Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to fix this whole bed situation and these walls. Okay. I think these are all in properly. I'm not going to move the bed in place just yet. This cap business, I don't know if... But I think if we, it just depends on whether or not we're going to use sliders against this wall as to whether or not we're going to need the caps, which I think we will. So um, let's go back to the sliders now. I'm just going to try and do a little bit with you guys and then I'll, I'll leave you guys. Okay, so if we do three and then maybe we could do leave white or maybe we should use a white. I don't know. Um, hang on a sec here. Let me bring back the sliders. I can't remember what other colors they have. I don't know if they have a white, uh, cream they have. This might not be, that's a really bright. Oh, no, that's really bright. That doesn't look like the picture, does it? No, oh, no, that's super bright. Uh, let's just see if there's a lighter colored one. Um, oh, the peach is kind of nice. I like that color. Sunny day. Is there? I thought there was a white one. Maybe it's just cream. No, because we used white in the kids' room next door. Um, okay, so we would want a full wall, right? Is that the color we would want? I don't know. Hang on. Okay, so there's peach and is there not a like a there's that, but no. Dark green is actually okay, that's not showing up. Okay, let me just look at these really quick here, guys. Sorry. Yeah, see these ones aren't called sliders, I guess. Under window full wall. Oh, that's so bright though. Maybe we'll just leave it with a painted wall. That's the white on the wall right now. So is there more in this one? Is this the same peach that we were looking at? Oh, this is... Oh, okay. That's not as bright as that other one. The other one was called peach, though, too, wasn't it? I don't know. Okay, that is not in the right place at all. Why is there a gap? Okay, something's not fitting properly here. Yeah, I kind of like those two colors together, but how would this work then? Okay, so this is peach wall flat paint. Okay, so these aren't sliders. Okay, so these are a little bit different color. Under window, I think is the one that we would want here. Yeah, see, something's not right. Um, it just doesn't line up. Like, there's a little bit of a, I don't know, 
overlap there that's not really working out. So it would have to be something like that. So then we would need the above window, which is right here. These pieces are so cool though. See what I mean? Like this row is it kind of doesn't line up with the edge of the window. So it's a little bit weird, but hmm. See, these both have kind of a, a yellow in them too. I might fool around with some yellow paint too, but first of all, let's just see if I, let me put some stripes up guys. Let me fool around with this and see if I can get something going on. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. I just want to grab this because then it, this would be a space and where would the, a wall, so it would be something like that. See, that one butts up with the edge of the window, but this side doesn't. Do I have just these moved over to? No, because this doesn't even line up with the... Yeah, so this wall is just a little bit off or something. But we could do those kind of stripes. I just feel like we need the yellow in there though too. We could just follow this color palette really. There's green though. Hmm. Okay, let me find some paint. Let me fool around with these things, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I think I have, you know, I've been running into problems with this. So I like the color of the peach and this is the full wall paint but it doesn't fit on the wall the same way as the sliders. The sliders actually work a little bit better, but I'm trying to use it to my advantage by just kind of leaving a bit of a gap on either side. I'm not sure how this will all fit together in the end, but um, I had to move some of these half wall pieces out, so I'm hoping they fit in afterwards, after all is said and done. But, um, okay, so now what I'm gonna need is those, okay, I have to go back. It's going to take forever, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm trying to do here. So what was it? Peach wall uh, paint or something, wasn't it called? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at that again. So they should have an under the window one. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I think I wanted two stripes though. Do I? I think so. Yeah. So I actually want to move this over there and this over here and then we'll put this here I'm gonna do two of the pink three of the emerald and so this is gonna have to move to hopefully this will all work out because I thought we could kind of do this and then have little pin stripes um, so above window is what I need here to put that in yeah, and then, okay, so let's go back to the peach. So we need above window. So we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap there. So basically on either side of the pink, I'm leaving a bit of a gap because these don't play nice with the sliders is pretty much what I'm doing. So under window, we're gonna need a couple of those. One and two. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to, hopefully this is all gonna work out. Um, under window green. And then we're gonna go three of those, right? Hopefully, uh, I mean, I think we're gonna take it all the way over eventually, but just so that we can kind of see how this is gonna look. So we want some above window ones. We'll leave a bit of a gap, yeah. And we'll do three of those. Um, there we go. Oh, no, wait, this is going to be, ooh, this isn't going to work out because now, shoot. Uh, yeah, everything's all messed up. Darn it, this isn't going to work. Unless it's like... Oh, shoot. Yeah, they just don't... I, I like th the color of one, but not the color of another. I mean, we could overlap it like that. Just pretend it fits. In a perfect world, we'd have it perfect. 
where we could slide them all over just a tiny little bit so that there's just an overlap on either side a little bit. But I thought if we did that um, and then we painted with this sunny yellow underneath, we could have this little kind of pinstripe effect is what I was thinking. And I thought that might look kind of cool. I mean, it's very subtle, but I, I kind of like it. I thought, well, pl yeah, play with that a little bit. I don't know. That could be kind of fun. I'm um, not sure what what we would do with this here. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Could just, I guess, leave it white. I mean, that would play really nice with those colors, I think. That's the closest pink we could get, really. The coral is just too bright, and it's a bit much against all this. So, I mean, that's just kind of what I'm thinking, guys. So I might play around with this. Um, like I said, I could, because there's a little bit of a gap in the corner here that we could sort of space this out a little bit more. Uh, what did I say we would do? Oh, pull this over. Yeah, like we could pull everything over just a little bit. And then we would end up with just a little bit of an overhang. Definitely want to go a little bit bolder in here, just for something fun. Play around a little bit, have some fun with it. I wasn't looking forward to this bedroom at all. Like, I, I'm kind of, I'm anxious to play around downstairs, but I'm also kind of like, ooh, I don't know what I'm doing downstairs either. But, okay, so if we, yeah, so that might work, because then it doesn't look like it's over a lot. Yeah, they're both even anyway. So that would mean I'd have to move everything over, which is fine. I think that's where it evens out. Okay. Hmm. I mean, could be something. Now, the reason why I wanted to have this wall here is because I thought, well, if we didn't have, if we have a, um, a bed with no headboard, then we could kind of use the pillows as sort of like, you know, as the headboard, I guess is what I'm thinking. Um, hang on a second here. Do I still have those in my... Probably not. No. What are those? Half wall, right? Half wall white. Let's just see. I just was having trouble putting the sliders in behind them, so I had to take them them out to see, like right here. I don't know if it's the bed. Might be the bed. Let's just bring the bed back a little bit, and then we'll. Yeah, something's wrong right here. Why? Why? Under the window, these don't want to fit. Err, gosh. I don't know. Maybe we don't have to have these. I don't know. For some reason, I just wanted a little ledge. Let's just get rid of it for now. Let me just see what this would look like without it. I guess it's kind of the same, the same deal. All right, so, okay, now hang on a second. There's all those throw pillows. Let's make sure that we can put those on the bed. They work on some beds. Oh, yeah, look at that. That would be a good color for here. We could, we could play around with that. That'd be cute. What else? What other colors do they have? I don't know about the leopard... Maybe black and white. That might be kind of fun too. Okay, and then they have this big one. They all sit on the bed at least, so that's good. Not sure if that's retro, but I don't, I think, I mean, they have some, well, these are smaller. That's kind of nice to add some variety. What is this one? Is this just black? Uh, okay. It's not so bad. Be nice if there are some brighter colors. And then they have like just some other kind of okay, these are all 
smaller. And that's a little bit more gray. Okay, just so we have an idea. I wonder if we could use some of the blankets too. Yeah, there's no other. I mean, this one's kind of pink. Let's have a look. Might be able to use that a little bit. We could just pile some pillows on there. That could be the bed. Kind of fun. And then, like I said, it could either be this or that for for sort of a, a feature wall. All right. Let me think about this, guys. But that's kind of what my thought was. I just wanted these half walls in here. I mean, I suppose I could pull them away from the wall. But then we're going to have... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let me think about this, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, don't ask me what I'm doing, but I just finished rebuilding this um, half wall for, I don't know, like the 10th time or something. <laughs> as soon as I move one thing, the whole thing just comes down. So, And I don't even know what I'm trying to achieve with this little half wall. For some reason, I just wanted it to be like sort of a little headboard for this bed. I don't know if it's going to achieve that, but anyway, I decided to do it in a dark wood. Um, so we've got the whole room painted. I decided to go all the way around. I'll show you that in a sec. I just want to finish this off because I'm tired of doing this. Uh, I think I'm just going to push this side back. Hopefully this will be okay. I don't know. It's going to overlap a little bit on this side, but I don't think it's going to overlap at all on this side. It's going to have a little overhang there, but we can put like a stuffed animal or something back there to hide it. Okay. Uh, did we get all of this? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I don't mind that. We could do some dark furniture. This doesn't have the dark wood on it, but anyway, this is what I ended up doing. I used this picture. I just blew it up. I was going to try and piece it together, but the patterns don't match. So I thought, no, we'll just go one big wall with it just to kind of add because I like all the colors in it. This would have been cool too, I think. But I don't know. We'll add some femininity, femininity, femininity <laughs> in with it. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And then uh, I think now we can push this thing back. Wait, that's the pillow. Into the corner. I'm hoping this all just works okay uh there i guess i don't know about this pink pillow i wish there was like more blankets we could put on there i mean i'm thrilled to have some blankets don't get me wrong okay let's put that maybe in the corner and then we'll use some of this because this matches the walls perfectly so i definitely want to use these I guess we'll do that. Let's find some more of those. I think if we just filter here and show all results, yeah, that'll do it. Um, I mean, we could maybe go with the, I just don't know how, I mean, I don't know. I'm just thinking about the leopard print. Is that retro? Is it not? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's kind of, I'm just thinking with the brown backdrop now, maybe the leopard might look okay. It could be kind of fun. It doesn't really, this is, I don't know, a lot of different stuff going on, but ah, let's, let's just try it. We'll put one there. We'll put one over here. I think we've got to turn that pillow a little bit. Uh, okay, this is more difficult than you would think to do. Okay, let's put that, is this turn? Oh, okay, it's turned kind of, we could turn it a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe. Could just do the black pillows in front. Um, I don't know what to put right there. Let's see, what else is there? Uh, da, 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 da. I think we have one of these on there already. Yeah, we do. I don't think I want to double these up, but maybe, maybe we could. Let's get rid of these. I don't think I want this pink. 
I mean, it's not bad, uh, not a bad match, but this already wasn't quite the, the right pink and I don't want to add yet another, another pink in there. Um, you know, maybe we will just switch these out. We'll have two of those, but we are going to buy, how big is this one? Same size as the other? Yeah, it is. Okay. Kind of overpowers it. Let's see. We have nothing else to really put on the bed. That's why I'm going with like as many pillows as we could possibly put on. So, and then we'll put this in front of, actually, maybe we'll do that. Something like that. We'll put this over here and then we'll put this over on this side in front of these guys. No, wait, uh, something like that. We'll buy another black pillow. What else do we got here? I think it's this one we were using. Yes, it is. Hmm. Feels like this has moved over, but I guess we could move this one over just a little bit. I kind of like that actually. Okay. And what can we put right in the middle? I wish there was just a bright little splash of color kind of pillow, but the pink's not going to do it. And, oh, maybe we could do another turquoise. Let's do maybe that. Maybe. It'd be nicer if it was smaller. No, I like that. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Oh, let's just go for a little pillow. We'll pick one of the smaller ones. Um, this one. How big is that? Not really. No, no. See, we just need a just that pop of color there, but we don't have any more to choose from. So uh, we could go with just a gray. Yeah, let's just do it up with a light gray. Definitely not no pop of color, but okay. I like that. I like the way that looks. This is kind of fun. What do you guys think? This you, you can't even see. Like I said, I don't know what the purpose is other than just giving it a bit of a backdrop that's not the wall. You can see just a little bit of the ledge there. We could put some stuff on top. All right. Okay. All right. Now, I was thinking in the bathroom we could do the same kind of thing, but I don't know if I want to do this. One thing I've noticed, guys, which is actually pretty exciting, um, I was really happy to see this because I think we could do some stuff with it. Okay, so there's some sliders, right? And there's even some tile ones. There's some sandstone wall tire tiles, but they have this one now, AHW. Now, I don't know what that stands for, but basically it goes from the top all the way down. So that is kind of cool. That's kind of what we were looking for when we were doing the bedroom. Maybe these were there the whole time, but anyway, I really like these. Yeah, I love these sliders. Like, I really do. Um, now, I was thinking maybe we could do the cameo. I'm just worried that it's going to be too... I just don't want to do exactly the same thing as there. And this is looking, I want it to kind of blend bedroom to bathroom. So they kind of match because this is the bathroom for this bedroom. They, well, mind you, they kind of have to use it too. But I, I just don't want it to look, it's looking too, too much the same. I thought maybe we could put a tray, uh, a chair railing up around it and call it done. But I'm, I'm just not too sure about it. Anyway. Okay. So we've got this room. It's, I don't know if this is retro, but it's just kind of some of these colors, you know, like playing with the pinks and the, the minty green. It's not really minty green, but close. That seems retro to me. And the mustard yellow. I like this little pinstripe. I like the way it turned out. It's a little bit, it's a little much. It is a little much, but I think, I think it's kind of cute. I think it'll be a funky little bedroom. What else are we going to do in here, though? I'm thinking uh, maybe a desk. Um, oh, you know what else they have? Let's just see. They have shag rugs, and I think we definitely need to add a shag rug. So let's have a look at that. So they have all these. You know what? No, wait. I saw fur rugs. 
let's filter it by rugs and have a look because I've seen oh here for a rug yes uh Ooh, look at all these fur rugs maybe hmm. no I don't think I like the gray there's not a black one is there pre-war rug what's this oh I don't know I don't like it though well not for this room anyway we could go white this is dark gray no oh these are smaller okay so they have smaller and bigger so we would want something like oh the brown's kind of fun kind of is really close to the floor color though how about the oh there's a light gray is that kind of the closest to white they have looks like it the pink is too pink Ooh, that's pretty fun though if we had more of the hot pink in there that would work and I don't think we could do the yellow no uh, what about the green no no I don't like the way it looks with the I think the white might be I really want to do these shaggy rugs I think that's actually pretty it's pretty cute yeah I like it Okay, so really what we need now, guys, is just some some pictures and uh, now blankets. Let's look at those throws really quick. Blankets. Show all blankets. Aren't they called blankets? Throws. They're probably called throws. This, uh, oops, it's probably just throw. Um see what colors do they have okay well they have the black so we could maybe put a couple of those on yeah let's do that we'll try and layer a couple mm. froze up there yeah okay that could be the blanket for the bed I think this I think this looks okay something different something fun uh, so it's just a lot of a matter of like just picking up some of these things are starting to disappear that drives me a little bit crazy with the warehouse stuff I don't know why workshop stuff I should say uh, I had all these paints in here because I wasn't sure what I was doing for a while I do wish the pink was just a little bit a little bit closer to that but there was no compromise really like other than that so let's um I thought about painting with this color because it's really close to that, but then I decided to do stripes all the way around. I'm hoping it's not too much. The only other thing that I think might have been kind of nice is to have maybe this dark color somewhere else over on this side. But maybe we could find a piece of furniture or something. I kind of like that though. It's kind of funky. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, let's just get rid of this. I think we're done. Uh, we'll find some, like I said, some some furniture, maybe a desk. Uh, this is kind of a nice loungy kind of area, but also it's going to be the bed. We hide the fact a little bit that it's a heart, upside down heart with the blankets there. So I don't know, something different guys. Let's um, get rid of these. Might use those uh, as pictures. I'm not sure. Yeah, we could probably use black and white pictures in here again. All right. I'm just going to open this the other way for now, just so that, yeah, in here, I just don't know what to do. Like, I mean, I'm not even sure about this cabinet yet. I think I'm getting tired of looking at this color, too, just because I've been in this room for so long. But, I mean, we could have maybe brought some of the mustard yellow in this and did something with that, too. So let me think about that. I was checking out paint colors, too. Yeah. It's just so hard to use like prints so because I thought just even this would look nice in there but I kind of like that I don't know I kind of like it it's a, there's a lot a lot going on in here but okay anyway guys let me um try and work on this a little bit I'll try and figure out what I'm doing here like I said I thought about using the more sliders and maybe I don't know could we get away with this it kind of goes with everything but I just don't want it to be too old-fashioned looking 
but I do want it to be a little bit different than what we got going on in the bedroom. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could use that as a picture in here to kind of tie them together too. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not looking forward to that bathroom. Anyway, guys, let me think about it and uh, I will be back. I'm going to look for some furniture, see what kind of... Actually, you know what? Well, before you go, let's just have a look at the retro stuff. Um, It would be fun to just put something in here that's sort of, sort of retro. Is there any of these that would match? Uh, nothing that's kind of the same color. That has browns. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't. I don't think I want to go too old-fashioned, even though these, I think, could kind of go either way. But yeah, no, I don't think so. Let me see what else I can find for here. It might be kind of fun to put a retro turntable in here. It could be into music and stuff and... But I also want to use some of the stuff downstairs, too. So I don't want to overuse. That's about it for retro. There was some pre-war stuff. This red chair is pretty cute. If it was a little bit pinker, it would be kind of cute in here. I just, for some reason, want to use that Papasan, but I don't know if it's going to fit in here. Look at these old retro chairs. I wish they just weren't quite as old looking. Okay, yeah, I got to figure out what to do for furniture. I th I do think I want to put a little couple of little end tables in here just so that we can put like a clock radio and stuff to make it definitely seem like it's a, a bedroom. And then what are we going to do for maybe we'll just do like a, a blind in here. They do have a dir dark. Might help break it up a little bit. Mm, that might be okay. I don't think that there's gonna be like a Roman blind or anything. What happened to all the pictures? Uh, that was weird. All right. Yeah, I think that, you know what? It matches with that color. I think that'll be good. And then, like I said, if we can find a couple of pieces of furniture that have maybe the same color Either the pop sun chair is going to stay or go. I'm not sure what. I ended up moving the door over too. So when you come up, now the door is over here. Just because when I was trying to get this pattern to see this, I had to paint white. So don't look too closely at that. But I really had no choice um, just because of the fact that these were not playing good with the sliders. So... Um, in order to keep the pattern sort of going, I had to, I had to compromise here, so, and move the door. Anyway, let me uh, give this some, give this some thought, and I will be back, guys. All right, guys, I am uh, just trying to finish this up. I'm just trying to decide on the sink if we're gonna go with this one. I think we we just will. Well, I don't know, I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't even know if I can go with this one because I had some trouble putting in this chair molding. I had to actually remove the sink, so I don't even know if that one's going to fit. I don't know if any of them are going to fit. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Oh, wow. Dark wood. Hmm. No. Let's go to white. Is there a black... What is this? This is the base. Oh, okay. Let's just stick with white, I guess. And the tabletop. Oh, I see. You can only have either or. Okay, this one does fit. Mm, I don't know if I'm crazy about it, though. Let's see. The solid white, does that match with the cabinet a little better? Maybe it'll be okay. Uh, it's just a basic cabinet. I don't know. I'm not really sure how to do this. But as you can see, I decided to get out rid of the pink. And I went with the cameo on the bottom. Hopefully it's not too like old-fashioned looking and it still looks a little bit modern. Once we put art in and stuff, it should be okay. Okay, so i got to assemble this puppy. So let's do that. I'm getting a little bit of lag. I'm not sure why. Maybe because lights are on in the other room. I think I'm pretty much done the bedroom. 
Uh, I can't think of anything the last time we saw each other. I was putting in shag carpet or something. But I just put a lot of detailing in there. Uh, not super crazy about the sink, but that's okay. Now, I think we can go with the black lines. Just because I think we're going to go with black and white pictures. So let's just do that. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. This just needs some details, guys. Um, let's look through some pictures together. Oh, there was one picture I wanted to use, but it's not going to go with the black and white stuff. Shoot. I thought it was really cute. It was very retro looking. Oh, this is cute. We haven't used that one yet. Hmm. I mean, there's another breakfast at Tiffany's one, or I don't know if we've used that one yet. Um, like I think in the other room we had had, oh, these doors are taking up space. We had Frank Sinatra, yeah, and Audrey Hepburn there. So um, I don't think we've used a, uh, there's another one that's like a breakfast at Tiffany's one. This one says, come on in, the water's fine. I wanted to, oh, and the color even looks good. You know, maybe we could mix and match. Oh, that means I'm going to have to get a different size of that one. I kind of like this one, even though it kind of looks a little bit. Can we auto fit this and just tweak it a bit? I don't know. Come on in. The water's fine. I thought that was cute. But now with the black and white. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Okay, I do know one thing. We're going to put a shag carpet in this bad boy. There was those shag carpets and I think they match perfectly. I think there was a color like this. So let's have a look. Yeah, these ones. Okay, so should we make our own? Can we put the four by four? Is this too big? Maybe we should make our own. Uh, let's just grab the one. Yeah, we'll put one. Oops. I keep thinking you can click and drag these things, but you can't. Okay. Yeah, we'll have a little bath mat like that. And then we'll have like another little carpet right here. Ooh, hang on. Maybe I should pull this out a bit. Yeah, let's try that. That'll add. I mean, we could have, I guess. No, nah, no. Nah. We'll just stick with this. You know, kind of a retro thing is to have like, carpet underneath your you know how they had the wrapped around carpet around the toilet sway back when I think that actually that looks really cute I like that now this all right so we know we got to get rid of that I really want to keep that I'm keeping it I don't care if it doesn't go with the black and white pictures we're going to end up with at least I think we're going to end up with black and white now we have these black blinds. Maybe I should go with a lighter shade. Got it. We're going with different color shades in every room. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking here, guys. Just thinking. Okay, let's go back to pictures really quick and see what else we can find. Oh, those are so cute. That'd be kind of fun. I don't know if it would really go in a bathroom, though. But it's still kind of fun. All right, so here is one of those. I mean, maybe we could do black and white over on this side and it'll be just fine. What else do we have here that would go with pink and teal? Well, there is this picture. It has the right kind of colors. Um, we could maybe go with that. Not sure where. Yeah, I just don't know what to do in this room. All right, guys, I went back and I found a couple of pictures that I thought maybe we could use in here. I'm hoping they'll be okay. Since we have the cat thing going on, I thought it kind of fits. So, and then, uh, hmm. there was a couple more. This one's more of a, I don't know, maybe we'll use this one. Kind of matches as well. Oops, that's a little too big. That kind of would be better over the the toilet honestly but you know maybe what we could do is put this one over here 
And I don't know. Maybe we could fit this one in over here. It's still going to be too big, isn't it? Seems like it's a bit much, though. The one thing I did want to do was... That's such a cute picture. I want to use it somewhere. I wanted the other sink, like what we used in the other room, but I could not, for the life of me, uh, fit it in here. So I just want to look again really quick here because it it's just way more retro. And But I, for some reason, was having a hard time putting it in. Same thing with these bathtubs. They were not fitting in. Wait, did I try after I fooled around with this thing? Mm, they do have it in black, too. We could switch, but I, for some reason, was having a hard time getting it in here. So let's just have another look. It was like, I think it was because of the, you know what it might have been? Let's get rid of this. I think it had something to do with, so does this not count as a bath? Because these things don't actually attach, do they? Yeah, see, it was going halfway through the wall, but it might have been because of this. Um, it was. It's because of the plumbing. Oh, I kind of like that. Is there? Yeah, there's the pull chain. It just kind of sucks because it's not going to count as a bathroom. Is it? Uh, here's this pull chain one. I know we've done this already, but kind of I kind of like it so let's put that there that kind of covers that oh but then there's this mirror thing it's white darn it oh everything's gonna have to change now what else do they have here so was I able to put this black bathtub in uh yeah it was too short that's what it was yeah, we were like one little inch too short from putting it in. And I don't think there's a black bathtub, so yeah, I think we're kind of stuck with that. Oh my gosh, I don't like that this is gray and these are... Okay, one thing we're going to change is the black. Let's just go back to this for a second here, sorry. <gasps> oh my gosh. <sighs> it takes so long. It honestly does anybody who plays this game knows how long you can fiddle with this this game and all the details that go with it yeah I mean just imagine that this bathtub is black guys that's all we can do because I don't think there's these ones don't fit and back in this one there's just no I mean I think you can get a dark gray in this but This is just, well, yeah, this is way too big. I We have to live with that. I guess we could have did a shower, but then we'll be changing everything. So, but if we do, then I got to move all these little railings. Let's look past the bathtub, guys. It's just not, let's just not look at it at all right now. Okay, so I want to find some mirrors. I don't know, uh under here it is okay so we need a black mirror because that other one's not going to do it I mean let's just do that let's just do that remember to wipe that's cute I like that mm. nice spot I mean I think it's it's I think it's good enough I need some little details and stuff but we'll do that I I think this is okay I'm not sure about that picture. I do like these, though. I don't know. I think I can live with this. It's just this thing's really bothering, bothering me. It just doesn't match. Let me come back to that. Let me show you what we've done in the other room. Um, we, we just need little details in here. But I think, generally speaking, like I said, the only thing I would think to do is change the shower in which case this would have to go and that picture would have to go and then it would be just a big old mess so I mean it's cute anyway this is what I've done in this bedroom I'm really I, I'm liking it I am it's it's pretty kind of crazy looking but and if if I could I would change the pillows 
into just some more of these kind of colors, but we just don't have that available. So this is what I've done. I've put in a little retro turntable and some old vinyl in a box. We use that. Um, I use some of like the retro comic strips and stuff for, for some of the art. I think that turned out really good. I'm just imagining a young girl in here. So I'm hoping we've got some school books and a little bit of makeup and just, you know, odds and ends. Her bed, of course, has magazines all over it, her cell phone. We got like some little retro things. I, I feel like we could use some more plants maybe in here, but I mean, I don't know. Girls don't have plants in their room. We have like a little one here and some flowers. So I don't know if I'm going to bother. But yes, we've got some retro like comic strips kind of stuff. I thought that would be good to decorate with since we have black and white on the bed. And we just have like just little knickknacks. Like I said, magazines. I have an old vintage fan in here. I thought that would be fun. Some old games, old classics and, you know, the old Nintendo a bag of chips because what girls not munching on chips and stuff uh old tv and then i thought this was kind of cool it's kind of all anti-tv and we're just uh yeah tv kills you know that kind of that kind of stuff that i thought was sort of that fits the whole retro theme so i think that's about it we've got some shelves um I tried to get the Papasan chair in here. I think it works okay. At first it was kind of sticking out like a sore thumb, but after I had it all done, I thought, yeah, okay. I think I could live with that. I'm I'm really liking the bed. I think it's kind of fun. Like I said, it's it's not as like classy looking as like the other bedroom might be. This one I think is very classic. But it was fun. Something different to do and hopefully you guys like it. That's that's about it. Uh yeah can't think of oh I yeah I have a little Wonder Woman I was kind of trying to get the comic books and stuff to like drop in different places but that's as far as I got so anyway guys that is the spare bedroom done in this two-story semi-detached I love the shag carpet I think it looks I think it looks cute I'd be I'd be pretty pleased with this as a young girl so yeah I think it'll be good Anyway, I got to finish the bathroom, put some finishing touches in here, decide for sure what to do in here. I mean, I, I think it's fine. I think I hate to repeat, but these are really kind of ideal for this kind of house. Um, I don't know if that's the right kind of mirror, but it's the toilet that's really, I mean, the bathtub that's really bugging me. But other than that, we got some carpet just need some details so let me do that and then I will bring you guys back all right guys I am fiddling around with the last little piece I thought to hide the fact that this bathtub is white and not black how I'd like it to be I thought I'd play around with having these curtains they could kind of double as like a shower curtain they're not like the perfect color for this room but I'm hoping I'm hoping it kind of just works yeah kind of I the hitbox on these are so weird it's so hard to get you have to really oh I just had it there we go I'll get rid of that one um yeah it's it's really tricky to find it like now I'm getting it no problem but I was fighting with this there they are uh anyway so I thought maybe that could be a bit of a shower curtain like I said if it was if I could pick a color that would be better for in here, I would. I mean, we do have some white, so hopefully, I don't know. I mean, it's a bathroom, guys, and I think it's good enough. We just put a few little decorations in. Um, I didn't put any plants. Uh, I'm kind of just running out of time here. Um, let's just look really quick here. Decorations, right? Could we put a few plants in? It's just so hard to find really narrow plants. Like I always seem to, like I feel like I'm always going back to the same one every time. Like that one. Because it fits in places. So there. We'll hide the, the toilet bowl cleaner with that. And uh, maybe just a little one for up here. Let's see what we can find that'll fit there. Uh, maybe like a... A cute little mint. What a mint. Yeah, 
make the bathroom smell nice. I mean, we really don't have enough room. I put in some lights. So we got lights above here. I just put in a shelf so I could put a few things in. I had to use these, um, these little slips and stuff. They're, they're sometimes a little tricky to hang things on. Uh, they'll allow you to in certain areas, but uh, let's move that up a little bit. I think that's cute. I think these work. And I mean, that's good enough. We have a, a light in there and a bathtub. What else could we want? There's some cleaning supplies so you can clean it after. And I think we got some towels. Uh, like I said, I wanted to, I was gonna hang something here, but couldn't. We got cats everywhere, uh, even in the other bedroom. I think this is good enough for a bathroom, guys. I, I mean, it's nothing, nothing great, but I think it's cute. I think it kind of passes as a little bit retro. So I know we kind of use this stuff, but it's the best thing to use. I changed out the blind to just the Roman just to add a little bit more of the black, but I think it's cute. Uh, we could have used maybe a little bit more pink, but I don't know. I think it's good, guys. And in here, I haven't done anything else. I think we're going to leave it like this. I hope you guys like it, but that is going to be it for today. We are heading downstairs next. Are these lights still on? Hang on. feels like... Turn light off. Okay. Felt like it wasn't shutting off. Yeah, they're not. So do you have to... Oh, okay. I don't know what... Turn light off. Alright, I don't know. I thought they all would be controlled by the... But I guess not. Anyway, this is the room. We are done the upstairs. Yay! I think it works. I think it's just fine. I kind of wanted the two to blend, so we got a little bit of the same color going on. I think we did pretty good. And yeah, we're heading downstairs next, guys. That's going to be a big one. It'll be fun. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.